Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. My name is Aina Natasha binti Miazaimi. My matrix number 1190853. So today I will present about the case review which is the Wrangler's World v Wilson Anthony 1964-30MLJ269. So this case is under the topic uh, the law of contract under the restraint of trade. Uh, trade. So I will uh, so next I will represent about the uh, about the um, facts of the case, uh, the issue of this case, and lastly the health of this case. So next I will present about the facts of this case. So uh, the plaintiff is an advocate and solicitor and is the sole proprietor of the legal firm of uh, Ringer's Work and uh, Company, Kota Baru Kelantan. So the plaintiff in this case is Ringer's Work. The, the defendant is also an advocate and solicitor and is uh, the sole proprietor of the legal firm of Wilson and Company, Kota Baru Kelantan. So the defendant uh, in this case is Wilson. So, uh, on twenty, uh, on twentieth, uh, on twentieth September nineteen sixty, the defendant entered into an agreement of service, uh, of service, uh, with the with the plaintiff, uh, plaintiff. So on twentieth, uh, twentieth. September 1962, uh, Wilson into an agreement of service uh, with the uh, Wingle, uh, Wingles uh, work firm. Uh, on 7 December 1963, the plaintiff agreed to discharge the defendant from the terms and obligation of the said agreement with effect from 31st December 1963. Uh, clause A of the said agreement stipulated that the defendant should not for a period of two years after the termination of his engagement by the plaintiff practice as or practice as or carry on the business or profession of an advocate and solicitor within a radius uh, five, uh, five months from Kota Baru Tau without first obtaining the written consent of the plaintiff. So, uh, uh, the last fact is such written consent has not been given by the plaintiff. So, uh, according so. Uh, according to the clause eight uh, in the agreement, the def uh, the uh, Wilson uh, Wilson was uh, Wilson, which is uh, who is the defendant, was restrained from practices as uh, an advocate and solicitor within Kota Baru uh, for the period of two years from the termination of his service with his employer, which is the Wingers Work uh, Firm, uh, but the uh, but uh, Wingless world, uh, world has not granted such written consent. The, def uh, the defendant left the employment and set up a practice uh, in Kota Baru Town in breach of the, uh, the, of the promise. The plaintiff, which is Wingless World, applied for an injunction to restrain the defendant from practice, which is uh, the, two, uh, the two years. Uh, uh, not practice and the five uh, uh, within a radius of five months from Kota Baru, which is the clause uh, in the agreement, which is uh, the plenty uh, applied. Uh, Mr. Uh, Ringless was speaking for himself. Um, I cited uh, a number of English cases on the issue of reasonable in relation reasonable uh, in relation to the free trade uh, restraint. Uh, restraint. Uh, so, Mr. Komaraswami, Koma on behalf of uh, the uh, Wilson, which is the defendant, relied mainly on Section 28 of the contract in the state already in 1950. He also relied on the first paragraph of plan 
effective uh, later dated 7 December 1963 which is marked as, as uh, Exhibit C attached uh, to the amendment stem, statement of defense. This, uh, this paragraph uh, said in this agreement which is uh, I will uh, say I refer to your letter dated 29 December 1963 confirming our mutual uh, agreement that you quit from the service of my firm as legal assistant as from 31st uh, December 1963. I note your present request to discharge you from the terms and, uh, and obligation of the service agreement and now agree to discharge you from the terms and obligation of the agreement as effectually as had you served uh, as a legal assistant with my firm for the full period for of three years stipulated in the agreement. So, Mr. Komaraswami uh, affirmed that this letter relieved the defendant of the agreement's term and obligation, including clause 8. So, Mr. Winglers was on the other hand claimed that the letter did not relieve the defendant of his uh, obligation under clause 8 of the agreement. So, next, the issue, issue of this so the issue of this case is whether the solicitor can be restrained from exercising his lawful profession. It is because uh, according to the section 28 of contracts, Malay states, uh, it is void if the agreement is to restrain anyone from exercising a lawful uh, profession, trade or business of any kind. The help of this case is the High Court. High Court held that, uh, that the agreement in restraint of trade was void and the distance uh, and place is respect of the restraint were irrelevant, which is the clause 8. So uh, the High Court said that the clause 8 of the agreement is irrelevant. Hashim J, which has indeed the judges said that this case should be decided on an interpretation of section 28 of the contracts Malay State Ordinance 1950 and on the first uh, paragraph of plaintiff letter to the defendant dated 7 December 1963, which is that I read earlier, he does not think that the English cases are applicable. Uh, applicable. Uh, he he does not think the English cases are applicable as the contract Malay State Ordinance 1950 is not based on the English law of contract section 28. So it's quite clear. Except the respect, except in respect of the three exceptions, uh, every agreement by which um, anyone is restrained. Um, from exercising a lawful profession is to the extent void. Uh, the defendant is an advocate and solicitor and can lawfully lawfully practice his profession in Malay, uh, Malay, Malaya, Malaysia. So in this, uh, the clause 8 agreement earlier is a void because uh, the, the defendant which is advocate solicitor can uh, can freely uh, practice his profession in Malaysia without being restrained by others party. Therefore, in uh, his opinion, which is Hashim J, uh, any agreement to restrain him from exercising his lawfully profession is void. He agree with Mr. Kom Komaraswamy, which is in behalf of uh, Wilson that the distant FS is the respect of the restraint are irrelevant. So, <clears throat> so uh, that's all uh, from me. So, so that's all from me.
Thank you.